For today's Surprise Friday, I'm going to be opening up this Japanese sealed box of, uh, this is the, uh, the Japanese equivalent of English Rising Rivals. I believe it translates to Bonds to the End of Time. And this was actually kind of something um, I just was able to pick up pretty cheap in an auction. And so while well, I've opened or, or will be opening up a lot of the Japanese, the newer Japanese stuff, and a lot of the older Japanese stuff, like uh, pretty much everything from the original Japanese base set through the, um, uh, I think through E3, in including VS. So um, it was kind of a big deal to, wow, there we go. There it comes off. So uh, it was kind of my goal to complete some of the, the newest ones and the oldest ones. But a lot of the middle sets are pretty difficult to find. So, uh, you know, I didn't really aim for those. So it was going to be really expensive to try and get all of those. And almost impossible um, just to try and find them available. But like I said, this was one I was able to find in a, uh, pretty cheap in an eBay auction. So I went ahead and picked it up. And there's four level X in here, three of the reprint, reprint Pikachus and then a ton of awesome hollows. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and start off by opening them all up. And if I mess up on names, yeah, I'm going to mess up on names. I can't read Japanese and uh, I'm more of a, a, I don't play the games very much, so yeah. Um, well, we're actually just going to go through like this regular uh, first time just to see where the rares are. So it looks like the um, a rare or a hollow pull in this case is going to be the first card of the pack. So Jirachi, very nice start to the box. Um, oh, so maybe there's, whoa, there's two rares. Uh, Hippowdon is a rare. And Jolteon is a rare. And then, yeah, there's one uncommon and then there's some commons. Wow, these packs are going to be kind of exciting then if there's a hollow and two rares in every pack. So, Aeron, Growlithe, Nidorina, Weedle, um, some trainer, maybe I should actually scroll down to the list. Uh, I think it's Fossil, uh, oh no, Underground Exploration Team, I bet that's it. Walrein, Laron, and Metal Energy. So now we're on to the second pack, and we'll find out if uh, th there's still going to be a hollow and two rares per pack. That's just kind of insane. So we'll put down the first three cards. And Munchlax, Growlithe, Nidorina, Shellos, um, I don't know if which is which, but it's a Shellos, east or west, it's a Shellos. Hey! Whoa, it's shining. Um, it's just an uncommon, but it's it's it's, it's a Rotom. So it's uh, a th is this uh, yeah, it's a refrigerator Rotom, but it's shining at me. So awesome! That's so weird. Right in the middle of the pack. Uh, Walrein and Tropius and Lightning. So I'll have to keep a close eye on these packs and see what kind of crazy order there is. My possible Hollow. Yeah, Floatzel. Excellent. Um, my first rare, Leafeon. Very cool. And my second rare, Vaporeon. Okay, so I just hit Leafeon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon in the first two two packs. Um, I don't remember what number the like what position that Rotom was in. Um, it was you know mid through the pack. So I'm not going to worry about trying to pull out the middle card of the pack. I mean, we've already got one hollow and two rares. So yeah, if we hit another shiny um, um, Rotom thing like that again, then yeah, that's just great. Um, I'm actually going to look it up real quick, though, to see if there's more like this or like what this is called. Because it, it still insists that it's just an uncommon. So... Yeah, so there's a bunch of Rotoms. Heat, Frost, Wash, Fan, Mo, and Sharon's Choice, of course. Um, so, yeah, they just put them in the middle of the packs. Very weird. Munchlax, Staryu, Dot, Weedle. Um, this is Pokemon Contest Hall, I think. I think this, that's it. 
for retros, um, a tech machine, and a fire energy. My hollow is a luxury. Oh, I realize I'm a little high. Very nice. Um, of my, when I opened up the English Rising Rivals box, so spoiler alert, pull Luxray level X, but no regular Luxray. My first rare is another Vaporeon. I have a feeling we're going to be hitting a lot of duplicate rares here. And Ryachu. Excellent. So I am loving this box already. Just, I mean, you can't get bad pulls when you have a hollow in every pack. And two rares. Kecleon. Nuzleaf, or, yeah, something like that. Eevee, Aeron, uh, Volkner's, I believe, Walrein, Tropius, and Water. My Hollow is Miss Magius. Very cool. My first rare is a Gengar. And my second rare is a Gastrodon. Again, I don't know the difference, east and west. You know, one's pink, one's blue. Don't know. Um, yeah. I'm sure plenty of people will comment below and tell me which is which, but it really doesn't matter. It's a Shellos and a Grashardon. So we have a Sfeel, Nidoran Male, Turtwig, Shellos, Sharpedo, Aerodactyl, Steelix, and Dark Energy. My hollow is a um, Bastiodon. That's his name, Bastiodon. My first rare is a Flareon. Keep the evolutions coming. And my second rare is another Gastrodon. The pink one. I'm just going to call him pink. Three cards. Snorlax, Hippopotas, Nidoran Female, Shellos, of uh, the uh, Underground Expedition Team, Starmie, Weezing, and Grass. My... Actually, why am I showing the Hollow first? I just realized that. I should be saving the Hollow for last. First rare is Alakazam. Second rare, Glaceon. Oh, so th all these rares are really good. Evolutions, uh, Raichu, yeah. And my hollow, Ramparados. Very cool. So I wonder how many non hollow rares are in the set. If they're, I mean, I've already pulled quite a few. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, Japanese sets, you know, are sorted by type rather than by uh, rarity, so, you know, I can't just look at a list and figure it out. Coughing, Nidor Nidorino, Turtwig, Weedle, Special Metal, um, Sunny Shore City Gym, maybe, uh, Poker Radar, or <laughs> Poker Radar, SP Radar, and Metal Energy. My first rare is a Nidoqueen. My second rare is another Hippowdon, and my Hollow is another Jirachi. So there's a good number of packs in this box, so I have a feeling we'll be getting lots of duplicate Hollows and Rares. Definitely tons of duplicate Rares, but I have a feeling um, that there's just a very a small number of Hollows in the pack, as, or the box, or the, <laughs> the set as well. Snorlax, Eevee, Quagsire, uh, Weedle, uh, I'm sorry, Kakuna, Sunny Shore City Gym, Volkner's, Tropius, and Grass Energy. My first rare is a Beedrill. Keep on pulling the ones I don't have yet. And my second rare is another Glaceon. So that's going to be an awesome card to have in my trade binder. My hollow is a Roserade GL. This was actually a pretty awesome tech in um, Lux Chomp decks. It was like uh, you got to choose one of your opponent's Pokemon, bring it up, and uh, I think it was poisoned or something like that. Nice little stall tactic. Trapinch, Quagsire, Nidoran Male, Turtwig. Oh, nice, another Rotom. Mo Rotom. Uh, so the other one, the refrigerator guy, um, I guess that would be Frost Rotom. So there's Mo Rotom. I like, kind of like how they're in the middle of the pack. It's 
uh, makes for a nice surprise. <laughs> Special Metal, uh, SP Energy, I think, and Dark, Basic Dark. My first uh, rare is another Jolteon. My second rare is another Glaceon. And my Hollow is another Luxray. So, yeah, okay, all three of those were duplicates, but I pulled a Rotom, and all three of those duplicates are awesome duplicates. I know Evolution collectors are going to be all over those. Carvana, um, Nuzleaf, Eevee, Coughing, Special Dark, Sunny Shore City Gym, I'm just going to call it that, I think it's Sunny Shore, Sharpedo, and a Grass. My first rare is a Gengar. So maybe we've already hit all the non holo rares. My second rare? Oh, reprint Flying Pikachu. Awesome. Man, we haven't hit a level X yet, but there are still so many great pulls. Two Rotoms and a Flying Pikachu. Oh, that's going to look so pretty in my collection. And my holo? is a shiftery. Nice, another new hollow. So far I think we're doing really well, maybe halfway through the box or so and only have one uh, duplicate hollow pull. Carvana, Snorlax, Hippopotas, Shellos, Special Dark, SP Radar, Steelix, and Psychic. And I just realized I put the Starks in the wrong pile. There we go. My first rare is Alakazam. My second rare, hey, Ambipom. I haven't pulled this one yet. So nice. And my hollow, ooh, Arcanine. Another new one. Uh, someone recently just posted on, my, one, uh, on one of my videos, uh, getting back into collecting and notice a difference in the card quality between the older, just English cards, the older uh, older English cards versus the newer English ones, and there is a qual there's so many different quality differences between old English, new English, and then Japanese in general. I will say though that the Japanese cards have been pretty consistent in card quality, it's just far as, um, I mean there's a li I think some slight differences, but just overall such a better, uh, much better quality than the, the English cards. Quagsire, Nidoran Mail, Turtwig, Weedle, Special Metal, Baby Search, um, the Underground Expedition Team thing, and Lightning. My first rare, oh, Nidoking. King. Excellent. Another one that I don't have yet. My second rare is another Hippowdon. And my hollow is a Flygon. Very cool. So I'm hoping I get one level X out of the box. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pulling lots of amazing things and I'm getting really close, I feel like, already to completing the set. You know, but, uh, you know, one level X would be nice, right? Uh, Nuzleaf, Trapinch, Sfeel, Nidoran Mail, Bebe Search, Aerodactyl, Tropius, and Lightning Energy. My first rare is a Gastrodon. My second rare is Agron. This is a new one too. Perfect. And my hollow is another Floatzel. I love Floatzel and Floatzel level X. Uh, that was uh, a, a little tech that I ran in my Blaskator deck. Very awesome. Nuzleaf, Trapinch, Nidorino, Nidorine, Nidorine, Nidoran female. Um, I don't know what kind of energy this is. I think we've already seen the SP energy. Uh, upper energy, maybe? Yeah, upper energy. T uh, the Tet Machine, Starmie, and Lightning. My first rare is another Vaporeon. Excellent. My second rare is Nidoking. And my hollow is another Ramparados. So I'm actually going to have a nice section for um, of duplicates for trade or sale. Kecleon, 
Evie, Aaron, uh, Growlithe, SP Energy, Sharpedo, Steelix, and Psychic Energy. My first rare is a Nidoking. My second rare is an Ambipom. Um, and yeah, that's Ambipom. Uh, and my Hollow. Ooh, um, oh, what is this guy's name? Frostglass. Yeah, I think it is Frostglass. Yes, Frostglass GL. So, wow, there's a lot of hollows in this set. Three, six, nine, eleven different hollows so far. And we still have, I think, three packs left after this. Oh, I hope I get one level X. Carvana, Munchlax, C Dot, Weedle, uh, yeah, Weedle, uh, Pokemon Contest Hall, Tech Machine, Vibrava, I think that's the first Vibrava. And is that the first fighting? Huh, cool. My rare, first rare, is a Raichu. My second rare is a Gengar. And my hollow is another, um, Ms. Magius. Come on, level X. Just one level X. So there's, and there's only four in the set, so if I have to go buy the other three or trade for them to complete my collection, that's fine, but I just want to pull a Japanese level X. Be so cool. Carvana, Munchlax, Coughing. Um, hey, is this the first other Shellos? The blue Shellos? Special Metal, Pokemon Contest Hall, Ferretris, and Fighting. My first rare is a uh, Walrein. Have I pulled this one yet? I don't think I have. Yeah, I have not pulled a Walrein yet. Very nice. My second rare is another Agron. And my Hollow is... Oh, that's kind of weird. Back to back. Um, is another uh, Miss Magius. So, looks like three packs left. Yeah. Kecleon, Snorlax, Hippopotas, uh, Weedle, Upper Energy, Starmie, Laron, and Fire. My first rare is Alakazam. My second rare, Surfing Pikachu! Oh wow, two Rotoms and two Pikachus. And I must say, my, the Surfing Pikachu is my favorite of the three reprint Pikachus, so... This is awesome. Gently put it over there. And my hollow is another frost glass. Sorry for the cut there, but I didn't I uh, was running out of battery and I did not want to hit the uh hit a level X and not catch it on camera. We've only got two packs left. Um I guess if I don't pull a level X, it will be alright. Two Rotoms, two Pikachus. Tons of hollows, tons of rares, but it still would really be cool. Coughing, Growlithe, Nidorina, uh, Shellos, uh, the blue one, Upper Energy, Starmie, Laron, and Grass. My first rare is another Leafeon. I think it's the first duplicate Leafeon, actually. My second rare is another Flareon, so lovely evolution pack. And my uh, hollow is another Bastiodon. Oh, so that means it all comes down to the last pack. Will I pull a level X? Will this be an amazing ending to my Japanese Bonds to the End of Time box? Or will it just be, you know, will I get something? Oh, cool. Sfeel, Nidorino, Nidorine, uh, Nidorine, I keep calling it Nidorine, Nidoran Female, Kukuna, Pokemon Contest Hall, Bebe Search, Aerodactyl, and a Fighting Energy. My first rare is a Beedrill. My second rare is a Flareon. And here we go with my Hollow. Yes! Oh, it's a Flygon! Okay, awesome box ending. Ending it with a Flygon level X. And oh, look at it shine. Oh, such a pretty card. So, um, my possible pulls from this set were, were Flygon, Luxray, and I pulled Luxray in, in the English version. So, 
Um, it would have been cool to pull another Luxray, but but Flygon, uh, I didn't pull that in my English one. So um, Alakazam Level X was also in this set. Uh, let's see, looking at the list, Luxray, Alakazam, Hit Powered On. Okay, so I definitely think I pulled the most epic Level X of the four. Hit Powered On, Alakazam, eh, they're probably more of the lower ones. Luxray and Flygon are the big Level Xs in this set, and... Um, yeah, like I said, because I pulled Luxray in English, uh, pulling the pulling the flag on in Japanese, oh, so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this sorted out, get this beautiful card into a sleeve. So excited that the last pack and yeah, yeah, that is the last pack uh, was the 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 best pull for last. So, such an epic box. Two rares and a hollow per box. And then, it, and if you got a Rotom, that was another uh, ultra rare pull. Or I don't know what you call it, but it was a shiny pull. It was another shiny pull. So, I'm going to stop rambling for now and go ahead and get to sorting. So, here's an overlook of my Bonds to the End of Time set. So, I still have quite a few cards I need to complete this set. But that's alright, considering I've only opened up one box. Uh, throughout the video, I think I said a few times that I thought there were only four level X's in the set. Because when I was going through the Bulbapedia list, there were only uh, that many uh, listed as level X. However, um, when I went back and you know, was trying to figure out what, what gaps there were in the set, I realized that there's uh, a lot more level X that they just... For some reason didn't put the level X by, but because it was listed twice, like Floatzel GL and then another Floatzel GL right after it, I'm assuming that the second Floatzel would be the level X. So let's go ahead and start taking a look, and I'll try and point out which cards I'm missing. So there were all the grass, fire, and water. So here's the first example with three cards missing. So according to Bulbapedia, I'm missing Floatzel number 20. So I'm assuming that that's actually Floatzel uh, level X. I am missing, uh, let's see, Gastrodon EC, I think, yeah, Gastrodon East. I'm missing Mamoswine GL, uh, Luxray level X. Uh, missing some of the Rotoms, uh, Heat Rotom, Wash Rotom, Fan Rotom, uh, let's see, Alakazam Level X goes there, uh, let's see, I'll have to scroll down to see what I'm missing here, alright, so let's see, after Nidoking, uh, Machamp GL, which is actually an uncommon. Uh, I'm actually going to flip back through my commons and uncommons and make sure that I didn't pull that. Um, yeah, and if I did pull it, then yeah, it'll be in there. So, uh, Machamp GL, uh, I think, uh, let's see what goes here, Lucario GL, uh, that's a hollow. The, the Machamp may just be, or unless they listed it wrong, um, an uncommon, but uh, the, uh, what's the word, Lucario is a hollow. Uh, let's see, after Hippowdon, we have Hippowdon Level X. Nice full page of colorless. I love to see... Oh, and some metal, of course. Um, love to see full pages. Uh, my beautiful Flygon pull. And then here... Uh, let's see, what are we missing after Voltners? Uh, oh, Sharon's Choice. Which is uh, it's kind of it's like the Rotoms. It's a it's a hollow with the it's a special type of hollow. So not surprising that I'm missing that one. So Sharon's choice, and then uh, missing the uh, reprint Pikachu. Uh, at least that's what I call it. What else do they? Yeah, it's just a regular Pikachu. Uh, like pretty much known as the the reprint, like from the uh, Jungle set, I believe. Uh, Pikachu goes right there, and then we have one of each energy. So I'm pretty happy with how my set progression is uh, so far. Go back and double check for that Machamp because I feel like I pulled it. However, I have so many of that type of Machamp, I may just be thinking of the English one. So I have a few hollows and rares that are available for trader sale. So let's take a look at them. So here's the extra Japanese Rising Rival stuff that I have. So here's all the hollows. The uh, non-hollow rares. And that's it. So uh, I've, I'll, I'll be eventually be putting the commons and uncommons in a binder as well. 
but I'll be showing those in another video. That'll require a lot more sorting, and I figure for now the rares and the hollows are what people are most, in most interested in. So stay tuned for tomorrow for another Japanese weekend, which uh, I realize this is a Japanese set, so kind of kicking off the weekend early, but uh, Saturday and Sunday will be a two-parter of one set, so enjoy!